No, I stopped doing push-ups. Hi. Let's see. Just around the family right now. Enjoying the holidays. Hi. Good for you. Thanks, man. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. How are you doing? Okay. <laughs> I love the beard. The longer I go without a traumatic brain injury or being injured, the more surreal things get. That's good to hear. <laughs> For real. Like, I'm sitting back, like, I don't think people understand, like, I'm not supposed to remember anything. And to, to remember all the things I remember, I just go, man, shit is rough. So, yeah. very surreal. It's very surreal. All of this stuff, like, you, you imagine your whole life, people trying to get you to kill some people, to document it your whole life. Like, literally, they just, we're going to spend 10 years and do whatever we can physically and psychologically to try and get you to kill some people. And then get so caught up, so yeah, we get so caught up in trying to get you to kill people. We don't even pay attention to the people watching me trying to get you to kill people. I'm so caught up now in my in my pursuit to get you to commit homicide. I'm not even paying attention to all the people watching me torture you, trying to get you to do it. That's where I'm at. Like, damn, it got bad. Like, <laughs> yeah. So some people can, like, I, I, I <laughs> yeah. They can laugh. It's, it is what it is. The legendary Fuhrer. I met this person. I gotta be nice now. Hey, what's up, Martin? What's up? Hey, remind me if I ever get hurt again. Absolutely, beyond no doubt, me on no chances can my wife have people from her family contact us. Okay, I will not get better. Mm. Her, her, they have something to do with tra trafficking a baby and threatening a bad, bad stuff. Okay, you there? Uh, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Hello. Sorry. Okay, that's all right. Uh, I'm not gonna be here for much longer. So, uh, cause you know, I'm, I have always known I got some stuff to do in, in a minute. So, uh, anyways, I wanted to tell you about like a few days ago. Um, I tried to do a one-hour plank challenge. Oh yeah, I remember I was you able said to it. do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the issue, <laughs> the issue with it was when I streamed it, I, I didn't know if it would record my legs or not. It, you only saw like the the front part of my yeah, body. Yeah, I remember. The, so it looked the like upper I could have cheated. And I was hella mad, like, damn, it didn't get my leg. <laughs> Not be looking to think I cheated. But I'm going to try to, like, train yeah. again. I'm going to keep training. And then I can, <laughs> like, I'm going to go straight for two hours. I'm, like, not even going to, like, stop. I'm just going to go straight for two hours. It's, it's crazy. So, yeah, I've, I've actually lost a lot of weight because last month I was really, I was, like, overweight. I was 160. And for that, for my height, that's, like, overweight. And in, like, a month, I lost 10 pounds. And I think it's because of uh, you, like, motivating uh, me to, like, to work and work out more. You know, it's, it's really interesting. Right. Like, you get there. Yeah, I appreciate it. So, um, so I, that's all I have for now. Like, I, I did one hour <laughs> of, of a plank. You know, that that's, for me, that's really impressive. I might that's impressive that. for anybody. Yeah. Like a lot of people, they would like start shaking. When I do seventy-five push-ups, I feel like, like I'm like, I'm jacked. Like, oh man, I'm so like. Even just one set, I get up. I'm like, ooh, I feel bigger already. Yeah, yeah. It gives you that like feeling, like it gives you that like feeling that you're invincible or something like that. I like it. Right. Like, and I, I want to keep working harder until I can uh, get the body type I want. Well, I mean, that's it. So. God bless. I hope you have a nice day. Happy New Year. Happy New Year's to you too. God bless. So Martin, long time no see. 
Last time I thought you was in Mexico. I remember I was distracted, but um, ever since then, I'm always just like, in my life, I, I ask myself, like, I'll come up with a, a question for myself. I'm like, damn, I wish I asked Martin that. And so right now, I'm trying to think of all the questions that I've come up with. But Martin, I always listen to you talk about the military. And just like, just like a couple minutes ago, you were talking about that for a while. Yeah. It's still so confusing to me, I guess. Like, why would they... I'm not supposed to survive. <laughs> Selling babies in real life. Now we're going to... It's black... They have a whole way to make money off the books. Uh-huh. Selling babies? It, it, forcibly impregnating women and then selling the baby. And that, that's, that, is that the ultimate goal? Is that the reason all of well, this is done? Or? Well, now we're getting... This is the whole reason things have escalated so bad that it is. Some r very rich people don't want, want to be involved with knowing that they actually paid people to be murdered to take children. Mm -hmm. like, like the, why is this, and then it's even worse because who did you pay for the murders? The military. You, you, like, it's on the, like, now you go, well, how did you know you could pay the military to kill somebody for black market babies? What's well, the word on the street? See, it gets really bad. We got to cover that shit up. What do you mean you, you, you contacted somebody in the military to kill somebody so some babies could be sold on the market? Where did you get that idea? What's well, just the word on the street? That's fucking bad. I can't let you know that. Like, fucking yeah. hey, that, that's shit that, that military police are supposed to prevent from happening. And it's happening under their nose. It looks bad. Now's the military police. I got to cover that shit up. My chain of command. I'll be in trouble. I can mm -hmm. catch some fucking serious shit for that happening under my nose. Yeah. You go, well, not only the military police, who's the commanding officer at the base where I'm at that allows that shit to happen? They get in fucking trouble. Well, there's a lot of fucking men. It's in their best interest to cover that shit up. So I, I talk about, you know, originally, me and my wife did some Chris Hansen type work for my area. So. I don't know what you mean by that. I don't know who Chris Hansen is. Chris Hansen, the guy who set up. Things for, so you say on the internet, I pretend to be a 12 year old girl or boy. Oh. You oh. Yeah, I got you. So, in real life, the people that do those things, it's not like you see on TV. They really don't know who's going to show up. So they train you, they teach you, they train you. We're hoping the person is not a horrible person that shows up and tries to kill everybody. But they're going to be on video showing up to have sex with children. Some of the men have a switch that says, kill everybody involved, no witnesses. I hmm. can walk away. In those situations. Huh? What do you mean by that, a, a switch? Like they've been, they've been trained? To... No, 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 no. So, like, you come, you come to my house to have sex with a 12-year-old girl, we call yeah. the police. 90% of the time, you're like, fuck it, arrest me, I'm sorry, I just can't have my wife, my kid. 10% of the time, it's somebody from a police, another a retired police officer, a retired military, they got training, and they go, death before dishonor. Everybody must die before I fucking go to jail for showing up to have sex with a 12-year-old. Yeah. Fuck. So they pick certain people. To do those things. I was chosen because they were like, in your area, some of the men who did this before you are dead. And what do you mean? Like, oh, the people who showed up just killed them. Like, you know, that 10% of the time, that 10% of the time happens a lot in our area. We make up 99% of the 10% of the time for the rest of the country. <laughs> oh, huh. Yeah. My state makes up that 10% of the time for the rest of the country. So it happens 99% of the time here, but only 10% of the time in the rest of the country. Why don't they, why don't they kill you, Martin? Why do they, they let you talk about they, they, they it's try. Not, Yeah, there's videos. It's like, an, it's an aneur, like I had an aneurysm, kidney failure, liver failure. I got my, my medical records like, we don't know how you survived. The military tried to kill you again. Be careful. Like, how many times I got to come here and hear that? Like, a different place. Fuck, you survived another assassination by the military. Like, it gets to be a joke. Yeah. Yeah. And, huh. and 
so <laughs> okay so so when, when you said like a couple minutes ago like 20 or 30 minutes ago you said they were um like they would they regularly come to torture you did they still do that I, you know i started over me and my wife we bought some new things again i'm not sure really what's going on so i just pump shit all over the world and go who wants to watch what's going on and that's hmm. where the problem was people didn't realize because of my autism i pump things out a certain way do a certain thing you might not understand it, but I still do it. So imagine, you, you know, you're attacking me and you see me pumping shit out all over the internet. It doesn't make sense to you. It sounds like gibberish. It, you know, it just, it doesn't make any that fucking part, sense. That part seems to not, like, you said, it, it seems like the military could just kill whoever they want, like, within a minute. Well, Super, they, not really. Know. Not really. Not really. It's, now, now we're getting, there goes the caveat. Right? The military is so dominant around the world. Because psychologically, they can kill anybody in a minute. Oh. Oh, wow. Huh. Well. Well. Yeah. Now, 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 now we have some things showing the American military in a confrontation with some American citizens. And our, our most efficient killing machines were wiped out. Not only were they wiped out, which is pretty embarrassing, they were wiped out trying to protect pedophiles and people's right to have sex with animals. We sacrificed yeah. American soldiers' lives so some old men could fuck children and animals. That's not something you want to make public. I mean, think about it, in real life, right now there's some soldiers that died all over my place to protect some older soldiers' rights to have sex with children and animals. Imagine you today growing up without a father like my dad died in the war. They go, well, actually, he was killed. Uh, you know, the chain of command sacrificed his life so that cause the chain of command has sex with animals and, and, and children and didn't want to get in trouble themselves, so they mm -hmm. sacrificed your dad's life instead. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, and I talk about, like, in, in real life, we got a lot of bodies mm -hmm. from my area. You know, and I don't mean, like, my specific house here, but this house and everywhere I've lived, and they've all been associated with dying overseas. And now I'm a little bit older with a little bit, you know, somebody said Martin's maturing in his wisdom. And that statement came from Martin is maturing in his wisdom. So why did you say that? But like, because you asked, with all these bodies we're associating with deaths overseas, does that not count as a false flag to get other soldiers murdered? And they went, yes. And so that's a very evolution. You've evolved before you never questioned what they were doing with all the bodies. That's so why I didn't really realize there was any bodies being taken until my neighbor Jerry asked me to kill his wife and stated the body would be taken away just like the rest of them. And then I got curious, yeah. what bodies? If I kill my neighbor's wife and he's asking me uh, straight up fucking facts, c kill his wife and have the body taken away with the rest of the bodies, what fuck is he talking about? Because I have a traumatic brain injury. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know what he's talking about. So now I gotta ask kids secretly. I gotta ask you, hey, what the fuck is going on? You're like, well, you know, look over there, that one place where we put that one shit. Is that is it? That's not going everywhere, is it? That's just like in your town that you live in. <laughs> that's another part I don't get. That's just going. Now we're on getting there. somewhere. Is it oh, no. in just my town, or is the American population so fucking terrorized they don't speak up? Because. They took me to a restaurant. Now we're going to get somewhere. They took me to a restaurant up on 128 and asked me to kill civilians. Imagine you sitting in a restaurant and the military shows up with a guy bleeding all over the place. Justin, I think I was just wearing underwear and gives, gives the person a knife and says to kill you. And then walks away so that you can be murdered. It's crazy, man. <laughs> now, now. Wow. Think about this. They're like, it's, nobody will say anything. And, and that's the thought in their brain. No one's going to say anything. We've done this. I've done this so much. Nobody said anything before. Now we're, now we're getting to the crazy part. The person did this and the men that did this had done it before. They were so confident they could do it in front of American citizens, illegal immigrants, publicly. It wasn't in night. It wasn't in the secret. You know, see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They were so confident. 
we know this turns somebody into a suicide bomber. We know it makes a mass shooter. Once he kills himself or gives us a reason to kill him, they can't question him. It's over with. We showed up taking out a, 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 a terrorist attack. It's over. It works so good. They show up, they kill me, it's done. But then you have me. I'm not killing my wife. I'm not killing whoever you want. What do you mean you want me to kill those officers? Hey, officers, are you guys coming? I, I am being swatted because did you know I know that you're coming before you notified me? And I'm supposed to shoot you guys. You don't find that concerning? I know you're coming when you put radio silence out so I don't know you're coming. Who on the inside fucking told me you're coming? Now we're getting some serious shit. Can you imagine you as an officer going, how does he fucking know I'm coming? I think I'm still confused. What, uh, wait, how does he... Uh, oh, it's confusing. Uh, how, do, how, how do you... Because I was being told to kill them. I can't kill yeah. them. I can't ambush them if I don't know, if I'm not notified ahead of time. Oh. I cannot ambush the police if I'm not notified ahead of time. Yeah. Can I? Yeah. No, I got you. No. Oh Real life. Gosh. How did I know you guys were coming? Did you put it on the radio? And I asked them to their face. Like, no, we didn't call it in. But I knew you were coming. My fans. I just want to get somewhere. Now we get somewhere. My fucking Instagram following. They knew you were coming. And you didn't report you were coming. How are they notified? Because yeah. now we're getting somewhere. You could have been going to a cartel. You could have been going to a, a, a rape victim. So how the fuck do they know you're coming before you're coming? To clean up the crime scene. To clean up anything. They, the, before the police show up, we're, the bad guys know you're coming. Before you're coming. You don't fucking find that a problem? And they didn't understand. Because you know, they're like, we don't get it. I'm like, the, I'm the bad guy. I knew you were coming before you knew you were coming. So I can clean something up. So I can hide something. So I can ambush you. Three things. I can clean something up. I can hide something from you. Or I can fucking ambush you. But regardless, which one of those outcomes is supposed to be chosen? It was set up to be chosen. And that's why I try to explain to the officers like, you fucking showed up. And you don't understand why I'm asking you, how did I know you were coming? Like, I sit up in my window and like, if this was real. Yeah. yeah. Like, how did I know you were coming? Somebody wanted to now get somewhere. Someone on the inside. Now, now, I'm putting pictures together with the uh, police officers showing up. And I'm, I'm being, I'm just asking, how do I know you're coming? And they didn't listen to me. And they came again. And so the, a young female officer, and I'm, you know, that female officer came with a male officer who thought everything was radio silence. You remember the radio silence? Do not communicate, no communication, meaning no phones on, nothing. And he sexually assaulted somebody in front of that female officer. And now that female officer, when she shows up, is the time I'm notified ahead of time to kill the officers. She she walked down the fucking street. And I was given a fucking four-hour notice. Hey, the SWAT team's coming. The police are coming. That lady will be there. What lady? Doesn't matter. But do you remember that guy that did some bad shit to that victim? I have autism. I have PTSD. You're trying to give me a meltdown? So, like, hey, do you remember those guys that did those bad things to your daughter? They're going to uh, be there in a minute. Huh. You get what I'm saying? I'm like, the good... the. the the female officer, the guy grabbed her by her throat and told her, that's just the way shit is. You fucking deal with it. This is the way it is in our town. Literally, that's the way it is. And she's crying like, ah, we're not supposed to do this. Got to report it. And he's like, nope, it's the way it is. And the girl that was crying wanted to report it. She's the one that showed up that we were notified ahead of time. That would be an ambush, wouldn't it be? Yeah. And I know I know she, she kept silence for some participated in sex trafficking. Covering it up makes her a participant. So now she's an accomplice. So they re... In the middle of my traumatic brain injury, they reawakened, hey, that lady's an accomplice and she's fucking coming. Yeah. The SWAT team's coming. That lady who helped rape is coming. That police officer's coming. She'll be there. 
what lady? And I'm freaking out like, oh, fuck, I do remember her. Oh, shit. And it's working. You know what I mean? Like, fuck, yeah. Oh, shit. Yep, 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 yep. And they want that so they could justify, so the police would be justified in killing you? Well, choking her and telling her to be quiet and then notifying me she's coming ahead of time so that I could get in a confrontation with her or do something, wouldn't that escalate into my life being taken? Yeah. But in order for me to escalate a situation with that female officer so my life can be taken, they have to set up a situation with that female officer that would allow a situation to be escalated. Right? I, they had to make sure I saw her cover up a crime so that I associate her subconsciously, more powerful than mm -hmm. my conscious mind, right? Mm -hmm. My subconscious mind associated her as, a, 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 as an associate of the criminals, somebody who helps, a perpetrator of the crime. In the middle of my memory coming back, all I remember is this female officer didn't do her job. People got yeah. hurt. And that's, Martin, exactly that, 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 that's all that, I was supposed to remember when she was coming. Yeah. That's, that's, some, like, <laughs> really, that's really smart shit. And so is that is it like a team? Is it a single person? Who, who, who said... <laughs> Who's, like, orchestrating this shit? That's, like, really... Yeah. But you think about it. So, I, I, yeah. I assault you, right? I assault you, and then you're given a traumatic brain injury where you really don't remember me. And then I do some bad things. And then later on, six months from now, a month from now, like... I'm being... You're being swatted, and I'm showing up knowing you don't remember me, thinking you don't remember me. While somebody's trying to make sure you remember me so that you have that freak out. Set them up, man. But I know I have meltdowns already, so I already knew not to have one. Like, literally, I'm like, mm -hmm. asking. So I'm going through my stuff. So I got some, I'm like, old men in my face. They're going to try and piss you off. You already have a meltdown. Is there anything in this situation that would just piss anybody else off? And if it would, why are they making sure you have it? So I'm like, is somebody covering up? rape and torture would piss anybody off why are they making sure i remember that before these people show up mm -hmm. ambush and i actually i actually I actually now that i say that for that female officer some other officers showed up and i cried right here they got me right there yeah. If you know Pierce County Sheriff's, they'll remember I cried and said, for the love of God, don't come back. You guys are going to have to come back later on when I get swatted. And you're supposed to die. It's nice well, who, 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 who's doing that? Who's, uh. Do you have any from, from one guy, I know one guy from the military, and I don't know his name. I recognize his face. I want names. I don't have a name, but I'll tell you if people, the police and things would, would, would know because they hand me over to him every once in a while. And I spend some time with one, I end up, I have one memory of, of you know, I, it's always one guy. And he just does whatever he can to hide the fact that he has some black market babies. He might have. He might have trafficked some himself or kept one from himself. So I got one guy when the military shows up and the bad things happen. I got one guy that always fucking. That's in Washington. Huh? Yeah. In Washington, he shows up. The police okay. give me to him. Sometimes they give my wife to him. Sometimes I have no idea who the fuck he is, but I know he is just as bad as bad gets. It's like, the rest of the military and police aren't looking. Bring out the children. Bring out the animals. Mm -hmm. And it's the like uh, I'm he, he, when he when he at my other house in South Hill. I lived in Furlane Heights. I remember when he when he showed up from the police after the the a sting thing, and he said, "Oh my God, I thought I lost you. Hmm. Been looking for you." Hmm. This is out of his mouth. We thought we lost you. We've been looking for you. Where, where is this? Just in like some building? Is this in a no? My house, my house. So the police showed up. Oh, so I did wow. a sting. So 
a sting operation set up, and the military showed up, and everybody went, fuck no. Oh, shit. The military want to fuck kids? Let them go. No arresting the police for fucking kids. It's just an unsaid creed. The military show up to have sex with kids. Wow. You let them go as quickly as possible before the next John shows up. So people just show up all night. Like, you come at 10, your friend comes at 11, you're a 10 o'clocker and you're in the military, they just fucking hurry up, get you out. You're free. Go. The 11 o'clockers here. We can't have the the, the, the rest of the people coming after you uh, uh, not get caught because we got to let you go. Yeah. yeah. Does that make sense? Are you, were, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, it does. You were, and you were saying that they, um, so the military will record stuff like this, like, you know, soldiers, fucking children, animals, whatever, and then send it to, um, like, local populations of whatever no, country. Never, so say it's you. Now, this is crazy. So I, I document how they do this. So if it's you, first off, if your wife, they're going to try and get your wife. They choke your wife out slowly. So she doesn't struggle. Just a slow blackout, right? They wake her up while they're penetrating, while they're raping her. In the middle of a rape, they wake her up. Your wife does not remember being choked out. She just wakes up like she just came out of a blackout from drinking or doing drugs. or she just Her memory comes back and she's in the middle of fornicating with a bunch of guys. So then, you know, then they, they just escalate. Then they'll try to get you. They'll literally, we're going to drug you. We're going to hit you in the head. We're going to... Have somebody with your wife, same hair color, same clothes, same everything. Put perfume on, makeup, everything. And dim the lights with you drugged and hurt. And hopefully um, you'll think it's your wife. And I got lucky because I asked the girls, like, does this seem normal? Like you're, you're dressed up as my wife and we're supposed to have sex, but you're dressed up as my wife. Then one of the girls went, yeah, your wife. You have a wife? I'm like, well, you had to dress up like my wife. Hmm. She's like, yeah. So does this seem normal? They Like, we're in a tub. And I asked the girl, I'm in a tub right now? So men, I can't walk currently. I'm so drugged, I can't walk. I'm slurring my words. I'm like, I can't speak barely. And I, can, I can't walk. Some men brought me into the tub. So that you could get undressed and jump in the tub with me and ask to have sex? So that they can record it. Does that seem fucking normal? Absolutely not. I think it's also really hard to, for people like me to understand that I've never experienced but that. But that's how I get out of it for the women. With the women, I ask them, does this seem normal? Because huh. they normally, I like, said, so what do you do? They're like, we're going to have sex. These men are going to videotape whatever. And I'm on my way. So then I ask them, like, First off, it's like you're a girl. I'm like, what, do you, what kind of sex do you do? Trying to break the ice? What do you do? Well, I give head. You know, I dance. You know, uh, you know, you can put your fingers in, you know, blah, 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 blah. An extra hundred bucks. You can put your fingers in my ass. Then, I mean, they literally, okay. Now, breaking the ice, like, how did you get here? I got to break the ice, too. How did you get here? The military picked me up. How did they pick you up? I don't remember. I just woke up in their house. Okay, so you woke up in their house, and then they brought you here. Have you ever woke up in the house before and they took you somewhere else? Yeah, quite often. I just wake up in their house, and I'm, and I'm taken to somebody's location. Are the people sober? Is it the daytime, nighttime? They're like, well, the person's always drugged. They're, you know, on drugs, you know. And they, you know, you start planting the seeds. So the pe- the men, you, you wake up in where? I'm like, well, actually in a bed. So you woke up in a bed in a house with some military men. And then they just brought you here so that you could have sex with me. Uh, am I, did I pay you for this sex? And they, no. Who's paying? The military guys. How much do they pay you? Well, I don't actually remember ever being paid. I don't really know. So you woke up in the bed of a military man's house. What were you doing? I don't want to talk about it. But it's all right. I, I, I want to know what you guys were doing because maybe we're going to do it. You get what I'm saying? And the girls are, you know, I'm just trying to get intel out of them. Like, what were you doing? I don't want to talk about it. 
well, are you going to do those things with? Yeah, are you going to do those things with me? Well, uh, yes. Okay, so what were you doing? I woke up in the middle of somebody penetrating me. Like you woke up and they were penetrating you? Did you ask them to? No. Did you want to do it? I have no idea. I just woke up in the middle of it and then they had all of their friends join in. While I was still unconscious from waking up, they had all their friends join in. And then they brought you here to my house. Yes. And we're going to do the same thing except I'm going to be the one waking up unconscious. Yeah. Are you sure you want to do this? Not really. <laughs> wow. But I just question them. You know what I mean? Questions, questions, questions. I said another girl they brought. Uh, I said, you, where's your family? I don't know. I says, well, thank God you're, 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 you're here because your family was looking for you. And the girls start crying. She says, what? I thought these guys were going to videotape me having sex with you. I go, no, that was just a trick. Your family knows you won't contact them because you're out prostituting. So they paid me to find you. Call your mom. And she just looks at me. I'm like, you, you, you got to call your mom. You can call your mom. You can call your family. She's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, I don't fucking know you. I don't fucking know you. You don't know me. Like, you're here to have sex with me on a videotape. Against my will? Does that seem believable? Or do you think your mom sent somebody to find you? And she stopped crying. She's like, I think my mom sent somebody to find me. Huh. Wow. I said, yeah, it's probably the case. She called her mom or whoever. She called her family. And she came back and, and she sat on the edge of my bed. She had nothing but a shirt on. They had already stripped her. And she thought, man, I thought I was going to be come here and be forced to have sex for money. My mom sent some, sent you guys looking for me. I'm like, yep, yeah. now, now it's about to get uncomfortable for a hot minute. Now it's about to get uncomfortable. But she's like, yeah, I thought I was going to have sex and they were going to record me having sex with you. But your mom, my mom, somebody, my family sent somebody. Yeah, they sent me looking for you. Now call them, tell them where you're at. They were looking for you. She did. Now she has a normal life with a boyfriend. Huh. Wow. Fuck, man. But you just the crazy ask part to me is that you, like, you can't. If you're in that position, you can't. You don't know. You don't know the names of anybody who did that to you. you uh, Aaron Keck. Yeah, I do know names. It's just military men. <laughs> now we're getting like it's. Yeah, I do know. Like I do know. Like if you're smart, you can trace back who did. When I asked them in, those of you guys that came here and lost somebody who died, who fucking sent you guys? Right? What do you mean we don't know the names? Who sent you? Who asked you to come here? Who asked you to bring the women and children to be recorded as a representative of the United States government and military? Who fucking asked you to do that? We do know. I'm just I'm just allowing people to just sit back and go, well, yeah, who did ask me to send? When, when me and Tom got sent there, we weren't told that they were covering up pedophilia and men having sex with animals. That's why Tom died. I had to lie and say he got killed in Afghanistan. Yeah. You see what I'm getting at? This is a destruction from the inside. Is it real? And you go, Martin, it doesn't make sense. I go, well, the chain of command, what I'm saying, you know, psychological operation, they understand the gravity of it. Because I ask you guys, who, which one of you guys are we fucking selling out next? What airborne ranger are we shooting in the back of the head next so that some men can have sex with children? Some men can have sex with animals. What airborne ranger are we having go over an IED next? What Marine is going to have his legs blown off? What Navy SEAL will be beheaded? Who is the next sacrifice? A real human sacrifice. Now, you might not be in my life to know if what I'm talking about is real, correct? Yeah. But, well, fortunately, but yeah. there are real men in real units who took casualties.
there are real units with real men who took fucking casualties. And those men have to sit back and go, am I next? Am I the next casualty so some men can have sex with children? And that's where people don't understand. Yeah, kill me. You fucking won. You guys did such a great job. You fucking terrorized me. You won. You threatened to murder my wife. You threatened to murder our children so that you could look like good men. But the rest of your unit, who knows people's lives were lost for your illegal activities, they have to ask themselves every day they work with you, are you are, are they next? Right? Every day your fucking unit works with you. They have to ask themselves, am I next? Am I the next guy to take a fucking bullet? Am I the next guy to fucking drown themselves? <laughs> am I the next guy to drive over a fucking IED? We don't know. Right? The Airborne Rangers. Now you think about the psychological operation, battle of the mind. Which Airborne Rangers next? And when you think about that, when you guys are fucking out in the field, right, and supposed to be only thinking about winning, think about which one of you guys is next. Who do, we, who do we decide was going to die before you even left the country? Before you even put your fucking boots on, was your life the one we decided we were taking? Because we fucking decided already. You don't even fucking know it. They decided your life already, and you don't even fucking know it. It's, that's a real question. Who's fucking next? It's the bad guys aren't killing us? The good guys? People on the good team? Who's fucking next? Who are they taking out next? Right? You have a group of 11 friends that you're just close as shit with. You find out one of them's been getting the other ones killed. You guys are, even though you might not say anything because you did some dumb shit that you don't want to get in trouble for, you still got to ask yourself, are you next? Right? You can't speak up because you participated. But you can't speak up publicly, but you can still ask yourself, am I next? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, you can't say shit because you participated. You're as worse as the fucking military members that did this shit. Turning a blind eye and participating makes you just as fucking bad. So in mm -hmm. real life, you have to ask yourself, do your friends think you have a conscience where you might speak up and get them in trouble later on? Because if you have a conscience and you might speak up later on, you're fucking next. Yeah. Right? If you speak up, like me and you do some bad shit and you might tell on me, I'm a bad guy. I do bad shit. What do you think I'm going to do to you before you can tell on me? And that's where people don't understand. Yeah, the who's fucking next? Like my neighbors, Alan Jerry. What fucking soldiers are they? Who are we killing next? Who's the next victim? Fucking real women, real children. Who's fucking next? Not even for freedom. Right? We're not even, like these soldiers, we're not, they're not dying for America. They're not dying for freedom. They're not dying for your rights. They're not dying protecting a fellow so they're dying so men can have sex with animals and children. Who's fucking next? Which one of you guys is next? That's a hard system to break. But only when you don't speak about it. See, now we're getting somewhere. It's a hard system to break when you don't speak about it. And the military will tell you that. We have a fucking problem because we don't have anybody man enough to stand up. And you go, what? Literally. There's a problem at Lewis and Banger and the military because there's not somebody man enough to stand up. You go, what? That's their own fucking paperwork. The Department of Defense. There's a problem with sex trafficking and all this shit in the military because we don't have anybody huh. man <laughs> What? You don't have anybody fucking man enough? There's. You just got done saying we got to listen to these guys because they're the fucking men. And then at the same time you're telling us we probably shouldn't listen to them because they're not fucking man enough to do the right thing. Which is it? See, which is it, Department of Defense? I need to listen to the Rangers because they're good fucking people, or I need to fucking be wary of them because we don't have any men that will do the right fucking thing. See, it doesn't... Contradictory, right? There's a fucking problem because we don't have any men that will do the right thing. But I need you to listen to the military because they do the right thing. Which is it? Which is it? Because I'll tell you what I know in real life. When the Department of Defense says... There's no fucking men in the military There's, that can stand up and do the right thing. They don't fucking, they're not lying. There's a fucking problem because the good men don't fucking exist. And that's fucking sad. How many people are in the fucking military? 
aiding and abetting, turning a blind eye. Either you're fucking good or you're not. Fix it. And if you can't fix it, you're one of the fucking problems. You can't speak up about it? Why can't you speak up about it? Now, now we'll get somewhere. Why can't airborne rangers talk about rape and pedophilia? Why are they... What did they do in their past that they can't fucking stand on their own two feet? And, look, they swore to their god their country, so what the fuck's the problem, right? Right? Hello. Yeah. It's a fucking military full of men, yeah. and we don't have one fucking person man enough to do the fucking job. That's what we're showing the country, the world. We don't have one fucking man in our military. We don't have one fucking active duty service, a man, just a fucking man. Just stand up, do the right fucking thing, fix it. A fucking man. We don't have one. Our nation is fucking leaderless. We don't have one. That's nuts. Why don't why don't we why are we allowed to rape and pillage just the military? We don't have any fucking leaders. Why are there criminals all over the place? We ain't got no fucking leaders. None. In a fucking military that talks about leadership, leadership. They ain't got one. Maybe they talk about it all the time because they're looking for one. What the fuck are these men? I'm just thinking about how this could be. You know, I just think about how things could be solved. And I mean, it, it seems like you've kind of diagnosed the problem there. Do you have any idea as to what a solution would be? Like a, like a real world? Just the fucking dropping bodies. Killing the bad people? I mean, literally. Then they can't procreate and have more bad people. I don't know. That's just my thing. Like, hear you say that, Martin. I've been doing I don't know how to explain it. Like I can, I can, uh, I can introduce you to Raw. Right? I can, I can show you the Creator before you go meet the Creator. I can give you the opportunity to see the Creator and meet the Creator. And so that who Raw? Who is Raw? This all fucking name is for a reason. Who is Raw? Who Ra? Who is Ra? Where's this guy that exists that keeps the men in line? Who the fuck is this guy you guys chant about all fucking day? Imaginary? Who the fuck is Ra? Well, I don't. I never met Ra. Have you met Ra? You know. Right? Isn't that he's a member of the military? Who's Ra? Who who can keep you guys? There's not one. I mean, that's uh, real life shit. The secrets on the download. Like, if we had to follow somebody, and we had to, who would it be? Fucking no one. Hmm. Interesting. You don't even trust each other. Right? On the get-go, you guys don't trust each other. Consciously. Now let's throw in some subconscious shit. Who's next? Right? <laughs> I don't trust you already, and you don't trust me already. We're in the same unit. Now. Which one of us is going to sell out the other one first? Boy, our effectiveness as a fighting unit is fucking crumbling as we speak. You see what I'm getting at? A little bit. I'm a bit confused, but... Well, psych... Uh, the battle's one in the mind. Yeah. Right? I'm already... Me, me and you... Uh, having to, are you going to sell me out for doing some illegal activities that we shouldn't have done? Am I going to sell you out for doing illegal activities that we shouldn't have done? We haven't even been to fucking war yet. We haven't even put our feet on the field. And I'm worried about you shooting me in the back of the head because I participated in stealing drugs and raping some people when you were with a witness. And maybe you watched me, right? We, I watched you, you watched me. Who the fuck is going to get the morals first? Who's getting the deal? I know the FBI will give one of us a deal. You won't get her to jail at all. If you speak up, you'll never go to jail. If I speak up, I'll never go to jail. Neither of us are. Who's gonna, so neither of us are going to snitch. But we both can't fucking exist forever thinking the other one's going to snitch. Yeah. Who goes, who goes first? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Inevitable. Gosh. <laughs> See, you're fighting a battle in your head before you even before your feet hit the dirt. Really? In our, me and you, are you going to snitch on me? Am I going to snitch on you? There's a whole lot of fucking psychological pressure to worry about, right? And then if I go, okay, he's not going to kill me. And you go, he's not going or he's not going to snitch on me. And I go, you're not going to snitch on me. Okay, so we know we're not snitching because we don't want to get in trouble. Now, is the only reason you're not snitching on me so you don't go to jail? Meaning if somebody else snitches on you, you might snitch on me and I might go to jail? 
do I have to kill you? Do you have to kill me? Does somebody else in our unit have to kill you? Does somebody else in our unit have to kill me? Who's going to have to kill somebody to keep us out of jail? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's how, it's, it's how, the, how you, you know, in, in the Middle East, you, you destroy a unit from the inside. The real life tactics they use. You put some children out, some, some women and drugs. And then you let them have at it. They will destroy themselves from the inside. And I found that was fascinating. You just literally, like, place out drugs and children, and the military will just self-destruct? Yep. How effective is it? 99%. You know, what? Yeah, if they think the drugs, like, they caught it in a bust, where they don't think anybody knows it, they just do all the drugs, they participate in all this horrible shit with things, and they all shake their hands and agree not to speak about it. Oh, fuck. That's from the Middle East. That's from this was Iran, uh, the Iranian army. Their, their intelligence. If we put drugs and children out, every branch of the military will partake. We can record them. Then when they go back home overseas, we can use them for counterintelligence. That's the fucking word on the street. Now, in order for it to get to the street, it had to work its way up. It had to be proved from the top all the way to the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The top had to go, we're not sure if this is real. And the middlemen go all the way to the bottom, and somebody at the bottom goes and checks and comes back and goes, yep, it's real. Put the word on the street. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on. I, I have one. I, I gotta go. I have one question though. Before I go, yeah. it's, it's a bit irrelevant. Um, I was wondering. Uh, I, I already asked you about this last time, but just about fasting when you're at the weight. Um, and uh, so should I? What's the deal with? Should I still avoid carbs completely when I'm underweight if I'm trying to gain weight? No, no. So you want carbs no. when you're underweight. Okay. So. Okay. Your body can, so uh, when I'm underweight, so I get emaciated really bad sometimes. I really, I get really underweight where people are like freaking out as I get exercising and whatnot. But, so I know from muscle melt and organ, eating my own organs and shit, yeah. Um, yeah. literally ketosis a Monday through Friday, whatever your weekend is, you know, your Friday night, Saturday night and Sunday night, carb load, your body will get so used to burning those carbs during the week. That when you carb load on the weekends, it just puts you put on mass. Hmm. Like, like I, you know, I, I don't, I, I haven't been working out heavy, but I've just been packing on muscle mass, literally from carb loading. My body's just putting on muscle mass because it thinks I'm gonna go hog wild on my with my kettlebell. Right when I yeah. exercise too much yeah. with my kettlebell, yeah. I, my muscles go away. So my my body's busy trying to fuck. We need big muscles because he's about to get rid of them all. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, carb carb load. Okay, thanks, Martin. Yep, God bless. Um, Thank you for listening to my rambles. <laughs> no, man, you have a lot. I think you have a lot to convey, and I, I I think this what you're doing with this um, just kind of this meme thing to get the word out there is really effective. It's a bit confusing, but I really yeah, it's confusing be, depending on the subject, right? So I got unconventional warfare, psychological operations. Computer science, I got an AI project I've been working on since high school. Freaking theology, I've been working on since freaking kindergarten. I got a mm-hmm. botany, horticulture, like massive amounts of stuff. You know, I talk about mnemonic phrases and seeding people's brains with, yeah. you know, information they don't even know is there. Who raw? Who is raw? Like, how many people caught that shit? Because I'm pretty sure they, they even went around to high schools and singing who run. Even the even the teachers and the students were like, it's just a phrase. It don't mean anything. How many how many hoorahs were in your face and you didn't even like people just having whole ass conversations and you don't even know what's going no, no, on. To be unaware of it is necessary for it to work, right? For them, for they or whatever. Right. Well, all right. I'm gonna head out. God bless you, Martin. God bless you, God bless you as well. I'm a bad speller. One more person, and I gotta get going. Oh, shit.
How you doing, Martin? Pretty good. How you doing? Uh, not too bad, you know, just another day. Uh, so I have a question. Do you think the war on drugs was also connected to the war on terrorism? Not, not really. The war on drugs is more of keep, keep, um, I don't know how to fucking explain it. So there, there are drugs that fuck you up that cost the company, the country a lot of money. Psychedelics and shit like that. They cause a lot of birth defects. They cause a lot of future problems. Yeah, yeah. Other, so there's things like that where we don't want to rack up a bunch of debt so that you can get fucking high on psychedelics. Right? But, yeah. Right? I shouldn't have to pay $300,000 in taxes through my lifetime so you can get high off psychedelics. But yeah. at the same time, we have marijuana that um, can help you with a lot of things if used correctly. Mm. And, you know, the, the war on drugs is, is really just understanding what truths existed then and do they still exist now? And if they don't exist now or the truth has changed now, can we can we move the goal line? Mm, I see. That's what my thing with that, your war on drugs. Marijuana has no medicinal benefits smoking it. None whatsoever. Every country in the world, marijuana has no medicinal benefits. But it specifically says smoking it. So you go, can I have the information about eating it? It's classified. You're not allowed to have that. <gasps> what? It's really yeah, it's classified, meaning there's something in there that you're not allowed to read because you might do it too. Mm. Now, marijuana has no medicinal benefits smoking, but when you eat it in a deep ketogenic state, there's some kind of miracle behind it where the government won't even tell you what goes on. You're not allowed to You can't even read it. But not just the United States. Every country in the world. You go, what? I, so, so I did this. I'm like, well, fine. You won't tell me what eating marijuana does in a deep ketogenic state, United States? CIA, DOD? I want the file, but you won't give it to me yet? I'm going to reach out to Canada. What, Canada? It's classified. Well, how about how about, how about about South America? It's one of these podunk, some other place that doesn't have the same rules as us. Yeah. Classified. It's classified. In the United Kingdom. Classified. What? Sweden. Classified. Denmark. Classified. Hey, wait a minute. Russia? Classified. Everywhere is classified. Okay. What, is so, what is so secretive? Why would it be so important to keep this a secret? Whatever marijuana does for you medicinally, does it while you haven't eaten any sugar. It's classified. Does marijuana cure you of cancer? In a deep ketogenic state. It's classified. We're not allowed to let you read that. I can tell you it doesn't do it when you smoke it. Well, does marijuana cure heart disease in a deep ketogenic state? I need to know. You're not allowed to know. It's classified. What's well, yeah. either yes or no? And if it doesn't, there's no harm in telling me that. You give me the... No, it doesn't. But if it does, you wouldn't want to tell me because it would cost a lot of companies billions and billions of dollars in profit. Oh, shit. I had never really thought about thinking of that way. Right? Marijuana yeah. has no medicinal benefits smoking it. Well, how about eating it in ketosis? We can't tell you. It's a secret. And if you if you get that secret, we might actually have to throw you in jail. It's such a secret. Mm. Do you think that's why, uh, I mean, I wouldn't say all, a lot, but do you think a, a lot of the, the early war on drugs was because of that? People were discovering things that, you know, they shouldn't have, and that's why they went so heavy on, like, regulations and laws and whatnot? Uh, I, I, money. When you learn, you just don't think about it, you know, okay, marijuana, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, all of these things, the top three killers in the country, the top three most profitable diseases in the country, and you can cure them for free, I got to make a law that says you can't have marijuana. And I got to make a law that says when you ask me, what happens when I have cancer and I eat ketosis in a deep, or I eat marijuana in a deep ketogenic state? What happens when I have heart disease and I eat cannabis in a deep ketogenic You can't tell me. Well, it either cures me or it doesn't. Yeah. And all I'm saying is the only thing you would hide from me is the cure. And the only, I can read about how it doesn't cure shit. And one area where it talks about the cure might be there, I can't read it. It's classified. Yeah. It's fucking interesting. You get it? Yeah, yeah, I get it. That, that's interesting. Uh, damn. I didn't ever, I never thought about, you know, thinking about it that way. You know what I mean? We can, yeah, you tell, you tell you half the truth. 
marijuana has no medicinal benefits. And then you go, well, no, it has to. I know it has to. Well, it does, but not smoking it. But we didn't tell you the whole truth because then you're going to smoke it and then people are going to go, see, he died. He smoked it and he didn't get better. I told you it didn't fix you. Yeah. I mean, what, what, I got another question. What do you think about all this coronavirus thing? Like, do you think it was like, it. you don't even think about it? No. Nah. You don't think it was like purposely made, you know, for yeah. political gain or anything? No, that's just stupid. Mm. Man. Now, I know that po po political favor can be won or lost depending on the economic uh, uh, out outcome of a pandemic or virus. But that doesn't make it politically driven, right? Politics are affected by it. Politics are affected by it. Mm. That's after, right? That's reactive, not proactive. Yeah, right? yeah. that's a reactionary, reactionary thing, not a not a proactive thing. Do so you think a lot of people are, are going to make money, like a lot of money, after the the pandemic's over with? We'll see. I mean, everybody always makes money. Somebody's somebody's going to make a lot of money. Yeah. But. I don't know. I'm not, I don't get too concerned with who's making what money because every time I make money, people literally just show up and take it illegally. So, yeah, true. you can't stop the police and the military from doing, from committing fraud and blackmail, racketeering. There's no, those international laws that protect us from them doing that don't actually apply. So, yeah. but I got to get going. I'll be on in a little while. God bless. You have a great day. Thank you God guys bless. for your kindness. God bless. Of course, you have a fantastic day, man. Take care.